okay so hello everyone so let us see what first example for a static cmos logic implementation for a two input nand gate so what are we going to implement let us write it down we are going to implement f is equal to a dot b the whole bar okay this is basically your nand gate or we can call it as a two input nand gate or we can call it as a nand 2 Okay, so let us start implementing this using static CMOS logic. So let us expand this equation slightly. So I'm I'm rewriting it as f is equal to a dot b bar into one plus a dot b into zero. Okay, so this is the in the expandable form, and the first term can be rewritten in the form of uh, de morgan's law so we can write a bar plus b bar into 1 plus a dot b into 0 okay this 1 and 0 is logic 1 and logic 0 fine so the first term is representing the pull up network so this is the pmos pull up network it is representing okay and how these pmos will be connected these pmos will be connected in parallel fine now next is a dot b now a dot b will be consisting of my nmos pull down network so nmos uh, the pull down network will consist of nmos and it is a dot b so two NMOS transistors will be connected in series. Okay, now let's start building this. So first of all, let us start with the pull down network. We know the general structure for a, a static CMOS logic. So I'm quickly drawing that. So this is my pull up network. This is my pull down. Let me write it over here. This is pull up, this is pull down. Here we have the output. Okay, here we have connecting the ground to the pull down network and this is the pull up network and these are my inputs right if there are input is a and b it will be a and b fine and my output is basically over here the uh the here it, it will be a nand gate okay so uh whenever my input whenever my pull up network which is consisting of which is consisting of only pmos transistors is on so what will happen it will pull the output towards the vdd so let me draw it so let me draw it it will pull the output towards vdd whenever my pmos transistors uh, pull up network is on and whenever my pull down network is on it will make the output node output node go to zero or logic zero so this uh, pull down network consists of only nmos transistors now let us draw the final circuitry for us so for us let us start with the pull down network okay so when we start with the pull down network let me take it a little bigger so we'll start with the nmos so we'll have two nmos in series like this the two inputs are a and b okay so this represents a dot b and in the pull up network we'll have a bar plus b bar so that will be represented by pmos so let me draw pmos over here pmos has to be drawn like this okay so these are two pmos transistors connected in parallel fine and now let me connect it to vdd and let me connect it over here and this is my output so my output is f is equal to a dot b bar okay and these are my two inputs a and b okay so that's what the representation of a nand 2 or a two input nand gate is wherein the upper network is your pull up network consisting of pmos transistors so let me mark this thing so this is my pull up Pull up network 
and the below one which is consisting of n most transistors is my pull down network this is pull down network okay so that's how you construct a static cmos uh, uh, a two input nand gate using static cmos logic now one important thing you remember is either if the pull down network is active it will pull the output node towards the ground so you'll have a logic zero and if the pull up network is on it will bring the output node towards vdd so it is pulling up the output nodes towards vdd so at any point of time the output of a static cmos logic will always be logic zero or logic one okay so i think that's it for uh, this session next time we'll see some other example of a static cmos logic implementation so until then that's have a good day